Welcome back to the big project and to the world of complete isolation and emptiness, New Crest. No really, I have never seen a world so full of nothing. Thankfully, we are hoping to breathe some life into this place with our project for today. So I've been really fascinated by media from a young age, in particular reality talent shows, or game shows, studio productions. I loved analysing the set designs, the camera setups, and how little nuances in the production bring the entire show to life. It inspired me to draft up my own version of these shows through scripts, drawings, and animated sets on Microsoft PowerPoint. And who wouldn't enjoy this, especially when you can do this. Ah, a lovely sound for all the family. These shows continue to inspire me with how I approach content for this channel. And that's why Don't Feed the Cow Plant was a thing, The Great Grilled Cheese Off, or the many times we've explored the Simbavision Song Contest, or even this. Well, good morning! Welcome to today. Okay, before we get a copyright strike, to commemorate this interest in media, I've decided to create a media hub to serve as a beacon of entertainment for the growing region of Newcrest. For once, we're not going to focus on nature. Instead, I'm hoping the campus will offer a variety of facilities that'll make filming a TV production just that little bit easier for the residents. Well, seeing as calls are free from all consumer landlines and mobile phones, let's get started on this project. And here we are at the canvas for some fun with virtual ink. So I've mentioned before about lot sizes being a real restrictive part of multi-purpose builds in The Sims, and this is only amplified with the media hub we're trying to build here. The thing is, media productions need really large spaces, and just to include a large studio it already takes up the bulk of any lot. So trying to blend that with a reasonably pleasant looking build was going to be the biggest challenge here. I tried to take inspiration from a couple of real-life media campuses from across the globe, but I realised it was going to be a real struggle to adapt some of those curvier designs into the game. So for this first draft, I tried to reduce the bulk of the boxy studio with a varied facade that also served as a main foyer for the building. As you can see once this lovely game loads, the final product left a lot to be desired. Something about the sense of scale of the facade seems really off, and I just wasn't really feeling how this build ended up to be honest. This sense of frustration continued with a few more iterations, with each build coming across as either too bulky or just weirdly disproportionate. Thankfully, these experimentations and conceptual drawings did lay some good foundations for the final design, namely the idea of embracing the boxiness of the build, but balancing it out with the use of lots of glass for lightness. We'll also try using roofs to come up with a more distinctive facade, and it was at this point the logical side of my brain kicked in, so the giant main studio will be moved underground. As such, the main building will house some offices, smaller studios, and the general facilities required in a media campus. With that all set up, let's go ahead and come up with the final design. Welcome to the brand new media hub at Newcrest, a shining light towards the future of entertainment in the region. This media campus expresses the open-minded ideals of media in Newcrest through the generous use of glass throughout, and a publicly accessible design that encourages residents to enter and explore. Grab yourself a quick afternoon snack from the cafe, and head on up to the open concept offices. Creative teams can use this space to discuss which character on their soap drama is being killed off this week, and aspiring content creators will find a few useful small studio spaces for their filmmaking desires. Back on the ground floor, we have a medium-sized studio for talk show productions, offering a scenic view of the neighbourhood. Of course, the real feature here is the full-size production studio found underground. With a ceiling height of 3 tall stories, this is the perfect blank canvas for any production you like to venture into. And it's also equipped with a director's gallery, holding rooms, and dressing rooms. A tour like this does not do this campus justice, 
So if you'd like to explore this build, it is now up on the gallery. There is a CC3 version made available. It will be interesting to see what kind of productions end up happening in this media campus, and if you do happen to use this in your work, do share it with me, it will be really interesting to see. But besides that, I hope you enjoyed the process of this episode and the final result. Until the next one, thank you very much for watching.